I just picked up a trailer and I've got to adjust the tandems because they're slid all the way back. Um, I'm losing daylight here, so I'm just going to show you how to do this real quick, what it's like. Um, let's see here. So I'm stopped. I'm going to set the brakes, make sure it's in neutral. I need my gloves. I'm trying not to show my company logo. I haven't asked them for permission to do these, so I really like my job and I like the company I work for. So we're gonna try and keep them out of the loop here. Okay, so um, here's the back of the trailer. Um, you can see the tandems right there, and the wheels are all the way back, so I've got to move them forward, which means I've got to pull this lever. Oh. <laughs> all right. Oh, can you see the lever sticking out? There we go. Okay, so I pulled it out. There's a little notch there it hooks on. Um... When you pull the lever, see those little pins right there? When I move, they're gonna pop back out and then I can slide these wheels up. <clears throat> oh, I'm getting ready to go take a shower and do some more laundry, woo! Cannot wait. Okay, so, back to the cab. So, um, what I need to do is release the brakes on the tractor, shut the door, and I need the tandems to slide forward. So I've got to go in reverse. I know that these steps are about four feet wide, and I generally move the tandems about five feet um, when I move them. You can tell because our trailers have a little marker right here and they call that like the California line or something. I'm not really sure about it. But anyway, so it's good enough. My load's only 18 pounds, so I just released that lever and put it back. And uh, see the pins are not locked in, so I'm going to have to go and adjust that again. Just got in and pulled back and pulled forward a little bit. I just came back out here to see if our pins are locked in. Get enough light. You can see that my pins are indeed popped out. And that's how you do it. 